Amidst the uproar at UCLA, a video emerged on Twitter purportedly showing hundreds of American students embracing Islam. What's the significance of this? Why is it happening, and should Christians feel concerned? My introduction to this came from a PBD podcast snippet where one of the hosts mentioned a group of protesters suggesting hundreds of students converting to Islam and engaging in Islamic rituals right there on the campus lawn. Uh, a bunch of protesters uh, that were hundreds of students converting to Islam and participating in an Islamic call to prayer this at UCLA on the lawn. Uh, I sent it to Rob. Uh, hmm. uh, Oil, it, Oil London posted this. Uh, this is what? This is now? This is, this is yesterday. London. This is yesterday. Oil London. Yeah. Oil London's a big oil guy. He loves oils. Is that like... Well, there's white people in there. There's people at like, Bali. Don't even know how to wear the freaking hijab. Don't... You guys not sorry. Look, they're telling them not to record. Not what? Look, the white people, white people just sitting there. They have no idea what's going on. Oh, what is this? Sure. Like, they're praying? Yeah. They're praying. I don't have but, a problem with that. No, no, but some people... Uh, right. no. Some people. Well, my point was, those aren't just all Muslims praying right. and calling right. to, to, to God. That's white people that have no idea what they're doing, but they're mm. acting like they're praying and they're freaking converting people. Yeah. Upon checking the clip on Twitter, I found it was posted by Ali London a former transracial influencer who previously identified as Korean. Ali captioned the video claiming hundreds of American students were converting to Islam and joining in an Islamic call to prayer at UCLA. Predictably, the comments on the video varied. Some expressed concerns about women attempting to assimilate into Middle Eastern countries, while others warned about the consequences of apostasy in Islam. Sure. One comment, with nearly 5,000 likes, captured the apprehension felt by many, suggesting that if this scene doesn't disturb you, you don't care about America. This is brainwashing 101. This madness has got to stop. The implication of this video is that individuals are swiftly converting to Islam, possibly due to the anti-Israel protests and other factors. But here's why I'm personally not concerned at all. When I first watched this video, I was immediately skeptical. My initial reaction was that in Islam, conversion typically involves reciting the Shahada, which wasn't evident in the clip. To me, it appeared more like a regular Islamic prayer gathering. Additionally, the podcast co-host claimed that hundreds of white students were converting, but from what I observed, most individuals in the clip had dark hair and didn't appear obviously white. So to me, it doesn't appear as if people are converting. Rather, it seems like a prayer gathering for Muslim students already practicing Islam. But even if Ali and others are correct, and hundreds of American students are indeed converting to Islam, some see this as competition, including PBD. You know what I would say? Here's what I would say. Christians, why don't you go pray as well? Oh yeah, they'll not, you'll never see a them. Christian, why don't you go do it? No. Nope. Why, why don't you go on campus and pray? So what? This, to me, is an element of competition. They're simply out-praying you <laughs> five times to one. They're out-praying you like you wouldn't believe. I don't have a problem with this. Yeah, Everything that ever becomes big, that does well, they, ha they are better at rituals, they're better at traditions, they're better at those things, whether it's last names, companies, religions, cultures, all of that. To me, it's not about competition. I suspect many of these students lack deep knowledge about the conflict and the reasons behind the protests, let alone why they might be considering conversion to Islam. If they are genuinely converting, is it because they believe in the core tenets of Islam, such as the belief in Allah and Muhammad as his messenger? Or is it driven by a desire to align with the anti-Israel sentiment prevalent in these protests? Once again, even if the video portrayed what some claim, it doesn't sway my perspective. What matters is what people are drawn to and why. I'm not interested in people converting to a movement or cause and labeling it as Christianity. Christianity isn't about aligning with a social or political movement. It's about finding salvation and fostering a relationship with God. If individuals are converting to Christianity due to the conflict, do they truly understand the concept of sin and salvation? I have doubts. Therefore, even if these conversions were genuine, I'm not troubled. Eventually, these individuals may realize that their understanding of Islam 
doesn't align with their expectations. Another significant aspect is the vast difference between Islam and Christianity. All right, so this video was actually, no, this is a Christian point of view. You will definitely know from his comment, you know he's a Christian. Well, based on my understanding, based on what I watched from the video, I also observed that, you know, uh, we can't really see their skin color. So how are we going to know that most of them are white? Assuming there was a slight, maybe the, their clothes were not that long, maybe we would have observed it. But I, we can't actually say if they are mostly white. Maybe it's, it's based on his opinion, based on the fact that, you know, white people have a particular way they dress. You know, some of them don't like wearing trousers, some of them like cordy, you know. But in this occasion, they, they dress decently because they know, they know that, you know, Islam, you have to be modest in your dressing. So I'm sure that's the reason the majority of them are on trousers. Some wore their scarf. And he said something that he does not see the video as they're converting. It's as if they are just making their normal prayer. Yes, I also kind of you know agree to him partially because if you're converting for the very first time the way you are doing the normal prayer as a non-muslim somebody that has never been to a mosque before or have never seen a muslim pray before or have never been in that atmosphere before how do you know that you're supposed to bow down how do you know that you're supposed to you know they might not really say the wordings per se if it comes to the prayer arabic prayer majority of them might not know it but i'm talking about how they were all uniform it's rhymed together when they are bowing down everybody bowed at the same time you know when you're not used to something you see that okay some people are slow to bow down some people are slow you get it or maybe the person that captured the video captured the video very late and some people have adjusted they've learned how to pray and how to do the normal way muslim pray how to bow down how to you know come up and the rest you get it. I'm sure the video was not taken immediately. So you cannot base your judgment based on the short clip you watch. We cannot say this is just a normal prayer. It can be a normal prayer, but I also say that it's not a normal prayer because the person that actually captured the clip might have captured it very late. And everybody have already learned how to pray. Maybe they've been doing it for like straight 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and you know. It's not uniform. Everybody knows how to pray. The necessary thing to do while praying. Everybody already knows what they need to do. So, I, I, I was, that's why I'm, I'm partially against what the, this commentator said. I also heard something that the man said, what happened to the Christians? Why is that Christians are not doing the same thing? Well, some Christians might see this as show off. I don't know, I'm just saying it. Some Christians might see this kind of demonstration as show off. That why will you come to the streets? Why, why there are some Christians that they do it? They have crusade. That's a Christian, you know, organized crusade in the field or maybe in a very large, you know, spacious place. They go to markets, ground, or anywhere people are and they do crusade. That's a form of them, you know, praying and winning souls to Christ. But these ones, they are praying, they're not winning souls, right? The man that said that if these ones are students, American students, why is that Christians are not coming outside? we can never tell maybe they've done it and nobody can show it or maybe they have their building most christians they, they pray inside the church unless if there's a special program that's when you see them praying in the field or praying outside so we can't just conclude on that but that was a beautiful one let me know your point of view on this matter thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more besides you see the notification bell turn it down so that anytime i upload You'll be notified. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one.